sure I have a five. Woman. It is. I was thinking vagina. You, as well. you realize it's woman. <laughs> you don't want to say it, but <laughs> we'll go with woman. Sound clap. Women. But how can a woman be a vice? They, 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 they are wait, everything. Wait. Today we're going to start the show different. Okay. Oi. I don't know if I have paralyzed you. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I said what I said. What okay. you said was some bull. Because in order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. This is mass madness, you maniacs. This is a dope ass podcast. Welcome, you bitches, to the mm. Dope Ass Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, new intro, yes, man. Come on. 2021. Felt grown up. It felt nice. Yeah. When I heard that, I was like, oh, shit, what are we talking about? This is professional. <laughs> <laughs> I, that Mandela quote, because have you seen the interview? Yeah. The interview where he's in England and there's like a town hall. It's New York. New York, York yeah. town oh, New hall. York. It's yeah. amazing, that thing. That, when I watched that, I was... I saw him in a completely different light. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw a man who went into jail as well with that fight. Because I, re- I only remember the Mandela hugging and kissing kids. Yeah. And, and it's opening yes. ceremonies and Because I always wondered, why Mandela? Why yes. did everyone wait for Mandela? And then in that right. interview, I saw, oh, a leader. Yeah. Yes. I saw the leader there. I was like, oh, this is the guy you wait for. Dude, this when, is the guy, this is you, the wait guy you wait Fuck for. When right. he when he shut down he shut down so many questions. They had a questionnaire part, and the guy asked him about the relationship with Fidel and with Cuba. Cuba. Yeah, oh, then that's said, when he said, oh. when he goes, uh, why should I interfere with the yes. internal affairs of Cuba? Uh, you must be consistent with your questions. And the guy kept quiet. Yes, it was but the, the mistake. Did I paralyze? Did I, yeah, did I, did I paralyze? I don't know if I have paralyzed you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because that shit, because he, and he even says, don't, oh, the way, the wording yes. is brilliant. It was, don't confuse, the problem with the Western, with Western world is they, they make the mistake of thinking that their enemies must be the yes. enemies of the world. Yes, yes. that's what he says. Because then yeah. they even have a guy from South Africa mm. and they even have Butelezi. Uh, ask questions mm. that they play for him. All oh, right. And then the white Afrikaner guy from the what? It, what was the party called? Um, National Party. National Party. Yes. And he he asked Mandela about uh, white people's jobs and are we going to have keep our things? <laughs> and then Mandela, are we? Are we yes, gonna, look, very much like, I can see you building a nation. <laughs> yes. but are we going to be okay? <laughs> and Mandela asks answers him in front of all these Americans in Afrikaans. Really? Uh, and then it's so fire. And I just realized every- I haven't watched the whole thing. I think I've watched oh, the highlight it's reel. It's fire, dude. And then he answers in Afrikaans and then he translates the thing for everyone. Too much. But you know, and everyone's like, oh, what is <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> what just happened? And Jesse Jackson and all of them were there. Like, I oh. remember just <laughs> seeing the few blacks that were in the audience just have this look of, he's also one of, like, like, you know, when you see someone answering not just answering but the way he was answering yes yes where you just feel proud yeah. as the fact that he he looks like me and talks like that yeah but That's he shuts down a couple of black americans in the questionnaire part because a yes. couple of because also you must remember in america even black americans with all the shit they go through and the oppression they still stand with their country mm. yeah so that when they the cuban question and all those things it comes from a black person yeah. in the crowd that's one thing about America that I've realized that white, the majority of America is white and they love their country, but even the black people in that oppression still love America. Oh, yeah. But vote, but like. Vociferously. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> like they still I'm believe gonna, in it. I'm they s- Google it off. <laughs> <laughs> they believe in it. They, they want it to win, all that stuff. Yeah. You know what? No one's given up. I've never heard someone say, fuck this country. I think that's a great thing about America. I think the American dream like, oh, is so wife. openly vague. Everybody can have a version of it. So you stick around for whatever you built in your head. All right. No matter what the, no matter what the, and this is an assumption, but no matter what the, your current status is in America, you fight for the American dream because in your dream, you're prospering. Right. Go Do you know what you I mean? Because someone else's American dream can be oppressing you. Right. Because it's vague is. enough, it's vague, it's, it's kind of vague enough to be like, yeah, an American dream, whatever. And people are only th- one person, one group's only think about their group, yes. and then someone else is only think so. So it's okay to go. Everyone's fighting for it. It's like yeah, everyone's fighting for their version of it. My yes. question is, 
is there a South African dream? Not even a little. No, but th- but th- we've like, had this conversation. There is no South African. Oh, oh yes, that's where that <laughs> ended up. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a South? Do, when you think of your country that you live in, what is it that comes to your mind? There's a there's a comedian, and I've had this conversation with him. Nice guy, you all know him, and he always says. Uh, a colored dude, he goes, this country's fucked, man. And whenever he says those words, I know where it's coming from, mm-hmm. but he doesn't finish the sentence. As in, it should be, man, this country could be so dope if we just cleaned up a couple things. Mm. But when you say it's fucked and you say it in you front of- You said finish wh- the sentence, but you literally changed no, no, the sentence. But I'm saying, when you say that sentence in front of white people, when you say this country's fucked, yeah. It's definitely a fuel to the fire of, yeah, we right. And when it comes from a person of color, it makes an old white person who thinks that way go, I've I'm been, not being racist. Yes, I've been <laughs> saying. And you I've know, been <laughs> saying this, but I, I'm just not the right color. <laughs> that, that's what and it is. And all you need is one person. <laughs> they just wanted to hear it in an accent. Yes, <laughs> they want to hear the truth in an accent. Because to answer your question, I do think there is a South African dream Otherwise, we wouldn't have so many different African nationalities coming in. There has to be something special that we Mm. don't see because we're in it. Mm. We Mm. wouldn't get so many African nationalities coming here. Yeah. The thing is, we we very much like, there's the white thing of, okay, they're trying to hold on to their stuff. Then it's black people trying to get what they deserve Mm. for years of oppression. Then there's colored people who feel like they're part of the oppression. Then there's colored people who weren't part of the oppression and they lived a good life, mm. but now are going, but we're not black enough, and it's that stupid argument. And then there's Indian people. I don't even know what to do with Indian people. <laughs> you don't know what their argument I is. What? I don't know. <laughs> Indians, what are you like, about? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like even in government, everyone goes, okay, so we are done for today. We are going to adjourn. And then the voice, but what about the Indians? Yeah, we are done. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to answer. Oh, the you know, the what about the Indians? Oh, talking about Indians, the catering today is uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> That's interesting. I put, uh, maybe our thing is alive with possibilities. That was what I love we that sold. statement because that's what I think. That's, that's what, what we it are. is. I think that's what we are. We really go for. We really like if you look at where we thrive, it's always like we're, we're weirdly thriving in things. Mm. It's and we didn't even know we were doing the thing as a South African. We're like, we hear about a South African who created a tech something, and we're like, oh, we are, we are doing tech now. Yes, we even my, like Musk, yeah. So we like, oh, not even Musk, like even in South Africa, there's people doing a lot of uh, like tech innovation and stuff, but then we don't think of South Africa as a tech place. If you said, my son, if you if your son says I want to be in tech, your first thing is like, how do I get this guy to America now? Right. You don't think San South Francisco, Africa has got a yo, industry, so true, bro? <laughs> so nobody, yo, we just keep so, thriving out of nowhere. But I was walking, <laughs> I was walking from the from the shops here, and there's a there's a whole bunch of like shops on the way to and from, and one of them like there's a I was like oh I must take my kids here. It's like a music shop, and one of them is a coding one, mm. and I was like I need to. I don't know what coding is, but I, I hear it like in yeah. the, that it's a thing. Mm. So I was like, I must put them in there because I'm starting to think of ways. Do you ever think of like almost entrepreneurially where I go, am I doing the best I can in terms of getting my kids a head start in the world that now is? Yes. Like that world of people are starting things and yes. it's entrepreneurial. Yes. I don't know if if I'm scared on their behalf in terms of like changing the whole game of education. Uh, you know what I mean? For them, isn't like what you put them in. What I put them in, what I put them through, what I like like the other day they started they came home and they were into magic. And then I was like, Magic. Because <laughs> yeah. growing up, magic it's witches. Yes, yes. Yes. So they started their card tricks and then they were doing card tricks. And then in my head I was <laughs> like, like the witches in my <laughs> <laughs> It's very much like that. Magic. They have brought witchcraft into my house. But then they I was like, stones. what can I do? Then I was like, which, you, then I chose like clips on YouTube for them to see. Mm. And then you can see them like they are like coming they, alive. It's like the thing that they've just liked. Now there's access to it. Mm. Now, I was, then I started to, because sh- some of the YouTube have tutorials. Yeah. And even the, when the guy was teaching, I'm like, I feel like this guy's breaking all sorts of rules. 
Because magic growing up, it was like, you're not supposed to know the trick. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But now there's videos where people are teaching and then the kids are watching. Yeah, I think it's also, it pushes innovation in magic. Because they're going, we'll show these tricks and how they're done. But it's like comedy. Oh, but like, they do have like, the, but it's the all end of the video. But if you want more, there's my there's my page. There's my page <laughs> and my subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Ah, they're selling. They're yes. selling. But yeah, I'm like, I think you got to get your kids. It's a thing, bro. It's a thing where you saw other kids having an advantage that you didn't. Because there were kids in your school, if you went to a school with some privileged kids, who were doing the sports your your school did plus things that your school didn't offer. Yes. It's like, what? You're rowing? There's, we, yes. there's no yeah. river for yeah. 10 kilometers. It's like, yeah, we, we go there in the morning. We row with my dad. And you're like, what? Yeah. And that kid's got an advantage in that world of whatever mm. it is. So you got to give your kids the adv- Whatever you see. Do whatever it. I see. If you can see it, do it. Because all the obviously things you can't see. So the fact that you know there's coding, the fact that you can see there's coding up the road, yeah. why not? But it's also that thing. It's of also literally called the new literacy. So you should teach your children how to code. But it's also that <sighs> you you're trying to teach your kids new job possibilities. Right. Yes. But you're also trying to show them new emotional things. What do you mean? So it's like <clears throat> also the way you speak to your kids, and I've heard this a lot from you, is you're trying to make them more aware of how they feel. Mm. So it's it's the idea of what you tackle with them. Because you're trying to, right now also you you they're not interested in making money. Yes, which is but a you problem. yes, but <laughs> you also which is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're very interested in spending yes, money. Yes, the Jackson Fives came and like, Dad, this is uh, school fees for the next two terms. <laughs> like, you better dance. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's that thing of what are you choosing to do? Because mm. my thing is, there's so many things now that I look back at that I go, my parents were loving but also didn't open me to that world mm. of of this is a job, this is that, this is that, whatever. They opened me up to things, but they didn't go, you can do that. Right. It was more you going personally, hey, man, that looks interesting. Mm. That's a so, crazy so, thing that I realized. Sorry, so it's the one thing about exposing, but then also going, but you can also be that person. Mm. So, and, and guiding and pushing. Yes. I think pushing is important because I don't think... I don't think necessarily that... Um, pushing kids. Yeah. I don't think necessarily that kids might have the push in them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that tiger ducky all over again. Right. Because at some point he didn't want to. But if it, maybe if he didn't have that push, he wouldn't have. And we don't know who the other tiger was. Ish dog. Right. So the, way that, the way that dad talks about his son, it's like... Whew. So this is my His son, son. is a religion. My he has been sent <laughs> here on a mission. He's like, relax, bro. Your son does this. Just calm down. <laughs> he, so, but the way he does yeah. that. So my cousin Craig and I go to his place before the show on Saturday in Durban. And his daughter is playing piano. But she has just a little keyboard. Mm. And he's saying how she's like really good at by playing by ear. And she's reading music and stuff oh, for so lessons. Like, so then we play, we play Dr. Dre's uh, and Snoop's Nothing But A G Thing. Yeah. Put it on. We're like, yo, Gabby, can you play this? Shit? She's 11. Play the thing. Mess up. Now we go outside to have a cigarette. Come back. We're like, damn. But now she wants to get a bigger keyboard with more octaves. Mm. What's that? Octaves, more, more keys. More keys. No, what's that sound? Oh, it's, it's a, a helicopter. helicopter. Jeez, I thought it was coming from me. These mics are hectic. Yeah, dude. I thought you were playing like an org. I thought you were literally about to play that song or something. I'm like, how? Because I was. It sounded like it was going. Get out right, right here, man. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, upgrade, upgrade. I don't know what some of those buttons are anymore. <laughs> yes. Oh shit! So, so she was playing, and all of a sudden, yeah. So now she wants a longer keyboard, more octaves, because she can play more songs. So he's like, bruh, she's so interested in this thing. I know it's a lot of money, but I'm just gonna invest and buy this keyboard. Mm. Or just tell her you can literally play the same amount of songs. But she's what? got the interest. She's got the interest. So yeah. if, if a living year old is saying, I don't want clothes, I don't want toys or, or right. whatever, I want a keyboard. That's rare. So that, yes, yeah, so I was like, yo, bruh, make her watch Alicia Keys concerts because she must see like a young lady killing mm. this shit. Mm. So it's not just a because I'm sure people in her class not even into it. How old is she? Eleven. Eleven. She's. It's so like also when do you decide 
Because I think as parents, we're already looking from birth. What is this child going to be? Yes. What? Because in my head, I'm going, if I can just find the thing, then I can just invest in. This thing of investing in everything is tiring. Because you know the, to- <laughs> the toys also the... I realize how many... <laughs> <laughs> you're just tired of investing in everything. And, and you oh, know it's when magic a, you know when you give, when you give huh? a child something and they're not interested mm. or they lose interest quickly. Yes. Like there's a little death in you that's like, damn it, that's 400 rand. I Cuz my to. we used to get But it's all of it, bro. The thing is you can't control what it all becomes. Because if right. you teach your kid karate, maybe all they get from karate is not a movie, it's the idea of discipline. Right. Yeah. Maybe that's all they needed to get from that thing, but that's it's true. it's in the it's in the give your su- kid something to do where they can just be in the learning of because w- everything teaches you something besides right. besides just the skill, you know. Right, right. Mm. Like now they're not playing chess anymore, but they've done it. But they've done it, and chess will meet them again in life. They're very young. They're gonna find chess again somewhere. Or yes. maybe you just didn't want to pay for the tournaments. So like, what was the <laughs> point? It's like, What's Queen's the point Gambit, if you can't kids? win, Daddy? Yeah, we go. You must win, you fucking. Oh, you, you can't show your kids Queen Gambit. Now they're gonna be just trying to find pulls. Yes, that's true. <laughs> to see shit on the ceiling. <laughs> what color was pulls? They were blue. Now they're grabbing Daddy's Viagra. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Viagra. Would you take a Viagra? Yes. <laughs> that was, that was quick. I was about God to ask: Is a vi- is a Viagra over the counter or is it prescribed? Uh, like, think, can you go? I, I actually you, don't I think know. it's prescribed, but it's like an easy prescription to get. It's but you still have to go to someone. I think you still. I don't know. I, I, have you ever bought those things from the garage? What those like, like silver bullets and shit? I mean, I don't know what you call them, but they've got the different. Yeah, yes. Like, no, I'm, I've never bought them. Oh, is it? Very, I do not have that problem at all. I've, I'm, I have I'm the opposite. Honest. If they had pills. To well, calm down. Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shut it down. <laughs> I went, I went, the right conversation will get me there. Right. I, yeah. I don't want to. You don't want to play with it. I don't want to play with it yet. When I go, this thing is, because I have days. That's the thing. So I'm going, when it's going, when it's giving me nothing, then I'll start looking at medical attention. Is it because medical attention makes it too real? No, no because I have days when it does well. And the, so and the I don't know if I just need to meditate well. harder before I start putting <laughs> tablets in. <me. laughs> yes, I don't want I don't want Viagra in me until, right. until I've done all the meditation. I need to finish the app first. It's a last resort. Yes, what meditation yeah. gives you bonus? It's more peace of mind and yes, sanity. but meditation helps you with those things. Here's a question: Has porn ne- ever not given you a bonus? No, no, it has. But sometimes I've had to go through like two before I'm like, oh, I'm ready. Does that make sense? Gotcha. I know. I know. I'm not watching porn now, and it's like a proud thing. Like when I press P on the on the <laughs> on the keyboard, it used to finish the on hub. You didn't uh, fucking but now, clear your history. No, but now when I press P, the internet's like, and what else do you want? <laughs> it's like it doesn't. It, like that's when I was Purple. like, oh, I'm not watching P-E-P. this anymore. Suggesting Dalit time with people of the south. <laughs> 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 that's when I was like, I think I'm there's ready. a boner killer. <laughs> Ah, uh, Dali Tambo. Dali Tambo, I met him once and I was so happy to, to see him. He's got such a cool aura about him, dude. Yes, really? He does. He's so, even the, the way he's on television, it, just, it doesn't seem put on. It just seems like he, Easy. He's, he's there. He's come across as someone who gives away pillows. Yes. <laughs> yes. Was that what he gave away on the show? Yes. Yeah, pillows. Joe pillows Parker had a pillow I saw. R- really? In Joe Parker's office. Wow. And I saw, I even took a picture with it because I just remember how each show ended with, here's your pillow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. I just heard everyone go, who is People of the South? I was about who's to say, Tumble, this is an obscure and reference. Joe Parker? This is yes. all obscure yes. references. Shit. You'll figure it out. You can't, can you even Google him? Sure. Joe Parker? Daddy Tam. Yes. No, of course. Of course. Yeah, he'll be. He was a late. It's one of and those like. Good, and he's also a proper businessman. Like he's doing uh, well in life. Yes. Like him being off air isn't because shit is going bad. He probably had another business venture. And like I can't be giving away pillows <laughs> for every fucking Sunday. <laughs> I got a meeting in New York, motherfuckers. It's like I did an interview with the founder of Trombies. And obviously when we were young, it was like this quite a group. That interview 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 yeah was it at wimpy or something uh, no. what why the founder of trump is oh 
No. He, he's probably rich. I wonder about the people from Trumpies. Oh, no. So he's not even a musician. Like, he's now a lawyer. And what? It was one, exactly. It was one of those, like, oh, you can't. You can't be wearing overalls your whole life because <laughs> yeah. he's he's a lawyer, he's in a suit. But he obviously explained to me, you know, Bantula is a lifestyle, and you don't have to. It's not just a dance. But I remember <laughs> thinking, I remember thinking, oh, all right, <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just too old to sing the songs now. So you, <laughs> but you can't tell me you're a Bantula at the Tony firm. So it was oh, yeah, shit, which made lifestyle. me think how I'm still a panzola in the court. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Objection, your honor. Objection. <laughs> <laughs> but it made me realize how in the nineties, almost the, the stars in South Africa in the nineties are almost non existent in the entertainment industry now mm. in terms of in front of the camera. Of the camera. Mm. And some of them not even in entertainment at all. Mm. So it's like, like Nimrod, for example, he was huge. And then now, where would you find him? Why are you burping so much? It's this, uh, I don't know. I don't know how the body works. Burping like the ancestors are coming through or some shit. Hey, bro, they need to. For? Help. <laughs> <laughs> Your outfit today looks like you CIA undercover listening in Cuba somewhere to a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> That's your outfit. I'm trying in to an 80s up. show. Yes. Like an 80s detective show. <laughs> yes. And on a beach somewhere. Yo. <laughs> you look like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to fit in in Algeria or somewhere. <laughs> in the back of the van. Yes. <laughs> Go now. He's on the move. He's on the move. <laughs> Would you be. So I watched The Spy with Sasha Baron Cohen. Have you seen it? Should I still have no, it? No. Brilliant. It's on Netflix, right? On Netflix. Okay. So they just shout out Netflix, who's going to sponsor the show one day? <laughs> yes. Yes. Speak it into existence. South Africa, <laughs> alive with possibility. <laughs> <laughs> but they just they run him through a test of being a spy and how long it will take for him to figure out if somebody's following him. Uh, and I'm watching this, and by the third day he gets it and he knows exactly who it is and whatever. And these people are lit. It's like a market space, and the ones are, you, are grand. Are you? Are you um, killing the movie as you normally no, do? No, no, do you no. know how often you do that? You know, Robbie will tell you to watch and something and then out, tell then you the his thing. wife when he's and doing that. And, then, and at the end, you realize it's all a dream. Like, what the <laughs> f- Robbie, come on. No, but, no, 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 no it's, I'm not giving away anything. But I was watching that and I was like, if I had to be followed, followed, oh, they'll literally follow me into my house. I will <laughs> not, I will not pick up it's that somebody's skill. following me, bro. Really? I don't walk like that. You don't, I don't walk. I don't, like I don't. I don't. I don't. My existence isn't watching who's over my shoulder or whatever. Right. That's because you're not doing anything. But best believe, if you walk into CNA and stole a pen, everybody's watching. Every, you. Yes, everyone. It's one of those. Things. Everybody's following. If you me. have something, where yeah, you're if you're worried, in the world of it, you're always watching. Right. If I you get, if you're I cheating. Guess so. Like if you going out on a date with someone who you're not supposed to, you'll be that person immediately. That's so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even going out? That's the thing. But when people go, like when people want to cheat, they they either go to places where they think they don't know anyone or places that they don't usually visit. But then I'm always reminded of how that doesn't work when someone says, "Hey man, I saw you." The other day, I didn't say hi, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. There's, there's the people. circles are small. Right. The circles are hella small, bro. I don't know how people cheat. I, I know people who cheat, like, in their normal places of, of yeah. function. Yeah. And I'm just like, how, what do you know? What skill do you have that the rest of us don't? And then they greet you, and you're like, oh, I'm an accomplice now. In. <laughs> but also, you sound like you want to really know how they do it. So so say you're living in the hood and your place is I realize I'm not a cheater not because I'm a good person but because I just be lazy. 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 What do you mean lazy? Like all the shit seems like a lot of hard work. Oh the covering and the Yes, cuz you cuz if you want just, the deed you just, just want the deed. You just need data, bro. Data for what? Wi-Fi. It's not expensive. What are you talking about, bro? You, the number one thing, three things you need if you want to cheat effectively. <laughs> Talk to me, cheater. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I don't cheat anymore. I'm just saying. Yes, all you, you need. Can, yes. All yes. you need is data. No, but then that's evidence. Oh man, that's a trail. 
delete disappearing messages on oh. Instagram. Everything is there for you to You must remember oh, delete for everyone. Okay. Someone's at the door. You jump up quickly and you go to the door. Yes. Oh, you left your phone there. See you later, babes. No, but it's all in the world of possible. This is not. I'm talking about people who've been caught doing it this way a thousand times. I'm with you. Right. I'm with people you. have been caught in every way a thousand times. Walking in on the person, right. messages are left, yes. a panties left here, a, a smudge on something. There's so many ways to get caught. So you're watching all these things. What do I smell like? Do I smell like her? Now I've got to change a t-shirt. Now I've got to have two t-shirts. Oh, yes. God. It seems like a lot to. Because my thing is, is not to do it. My thing is, how do you get away with it? And once you're in that world, now you're a CIA operative who has to, who has to look over his shoulder, who has to wipe down fingerprints. You know what I mean? Like yes. you're in a world of like, I know every kind of way to get caught and I have to constantly cover it. So that's why I'm saying it just seems like a lot. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> how I, did you do it, Uncle Robbie? When I, when I used to do it, it was also, yeah. it was also <laughs> stupid. It was also just... It Careless. Was, it was careless. But it was also never like, it was never as simple as same place, going to the same place or whatever. I'd, I'd, right. I'd, if I did it, I'm like, I'm going to find another universe. world. Mm. What would be another like, world? It's so thing? interesting. Thank you. Like my, my, if I had to cheat, like I'll go to a thing that I'll never go to. Like now I'm buying tickets for the three tenors. <laughs> 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 but then you're... I'm gonna take you to the opera. No, but then <laughs> yes. your girl's friends are going to the three tenors. Because not because they they want to go, but because the boyfriend that they're dating is in the world of three tenors. Their friend is one of the tenors. And you gotta f- do you know what I mean? Right, right. When you yes, yes. I'm paranoid, man. <laughs> yes, I can see. I'm, I'm paranoid, man. Yes. I never I never cheated not because I didn't want to cheat. I got caught before I could cheat. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I always got caught. Before and then I just like oh, I that's can't. the worst because you got blue balls and you're explaining <laughs> you didn't even bust the nuts. <laughs> you're always caught before you actually do it. Then it was just like you know what I just this is not what I'm good at. I'm very good at knowing what I'm not good at. But I think there is an age, or if it's not age, is there is a point that you get to where you go, just the same way where you go. Now I don't, uh, I don't do that anymore. Mm. Yes, mm. Like, that's how I feel. That's how I feel about it because I'm just mm. like. When I did do it, not only did I feel shit afterwards, I made another person feel shit. Mm. However good that night was, I, right. always, I never came it's out It's never of worth it. it. You never go, you feel shit, but you don't know the night I bust. Dude, I yeah. never, the next day I never woke up going, yo, that was amazing. That was great. We must do it again. It was always like, <sighs> you know what I mean? Mm. And then especially if a person found out, then it was just even worse. It's breaking, bro. Have you ever been with someone after doing it and then just watch what you've done? Put it this way. I've been yes. cheated on. Horrible. I've been cheated on. and I've, Horrible, bro. And every time that person was trying to be nice to me again, mm. doesn't matter if it was like, I'll cook your meal, I'll do whatever. Every move seemed like you're doing this to do something else. Mm. Right. So that So now looking back at it, I go, oh, I can understand why relationships failed. My relationships failed because, like, every good thing I did was like, "Oh, this nigga's doing Cover something up. tonight." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see you. I see you watching pancakes. <laughs> some pussy pancakes. Yes. Where are you going after? Yes. 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 <laughs> after those dishes, and then <laughs> these bitches. Yeah. <laughs> dishes, then bitches. Dishes, then bitches. I know you. I remember the first time I experienced cheating was in grade nine. Like, I f- I found a girlfriend who, like, I. I'm trying to think if I I liked a lot. She was like okay. the hot girl. Mm, good boy, um. It's warm. Grade nine. Uh that's you and she was she had boobs. Like it was one of those like wow. You dating the girl with, with, with boobs. The boobs. <laughs> but magnificent boobs. <laughs> Where even she was wearing things that like the cleave, full cleavage, bro. Yeah. In s- not in school, though. Like civvies. In civvies, yes. Okay. And you know, all the but- unbutton the top for no reason. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Dating her. And why I'm trying to remember, it, I think, I, yeah, I did like her. But it also was that ego thing of my, my girlfriend is, yes. that's my girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. Then, however long we dated, I, I started to, things started to feel weird. Mm. Between me and my best friend, 
Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> then things started to feel weird between me and my best friend and when my girlfriend was around. But you know, I was living in that like, hey, this is my girlfriend. I'm this person in high school. This can't happen to me. I got the chick. Shit. Gandhi. Shit. And it's so funny when I found out of that something was like to this day, I don't know what happened. Uh, because I never had the guts to go what happened to either of them. You just know that something I just happened. knew something happened and I broke up with her and uh, we just carried on with life. Like I'm still mates with my with, with that guy now and huh? to this day we don't talk about it. What? It's just like it's great it nine was high days. school, yes. It's great nine days, you did the thing, it man, whatever. And we laugh okay, about okay, it. Okay, cool. I, I have a very similar story. Big boobs, big ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh big ass. <laughs> she had the double Shape. She had a da- she had as my Ugandan friend would say, presence and stability. Presence and stability. I love it. And I literally only date. I must say, I only dated her for my ego. Mm. So I think that was what I was crushed when I found out. I think I've told you guys this story. Yes, oh, the, the ashy, ashy guy. guy. Yeah, and now, but when I look back at that story, I go, because somebody said guys get hurt once and they get hurt for long, and I'm like, yeah, I didn't care for relationships. I didn't have much trust in me for years. Oh after wow, that. years after that, like I was just like, yeah, this relationship thing. Okay, hurt, bruh. Yes. Yes, that's right. I I remember just being like, why does it hurt so much when I didn't like her like that? I I know it was I was dating her because I was ego. Ego, dude, being hurt, fucking hell. <laughs> like I, I like I know I've che- I've cheated on that, but being hurt, <laughs> that feeling. Say, don't say but after that. <laughs> <laughs> being 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 hurt, and like Lloyd saying, that thing, guys, we hurt for long, bruh. Mm. Mm. I think I took hurt from relationships into other relationships. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm here because I don't want to be lonely, but right. but I hate you because of her. <laughs> 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 like this, so many times, and I've been honest, with, because now I'm being, si- being single and stuff, where I go, there's so many times I was in relationships trying to get over a thing from hey, a previous relationship. Mm. And when you think about now, I go, obviously this thing wasn't working. Right. Shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, of course it wasn't working. Yes. I, I was bringing resentment onto you from another thing, and then I wasn't the best. I was trying yet. to finish off a fight with you that yes. you never started. And you're looking for you're looking for the same thing, like the way the other person looked at you. It's like this person doesn't look at me mm. the same. And I think I think there's maturity in that. That's mm. why now go. I won't be in a relationship right now. Yeah, dude. I I I, I, I think I'll which, be. Which begs the question because it seems so normal. Like in whatever way we hurt one another. It feels like it's all part of the process of dating. So it's almost like there's got to be a level of normal hurting. hurting. Yes. Explain. It, pain, it, like it just, in the dating it's like world. Death. It's like death, yeah. yeah. Because not every relationship is going to work out. And the reasons why it's not going to work out, may one may hurt more than another. Right. This one didn't work out, not because I didn't love the person, they didn't love me. That hurts. That person had no intention of hurting me but I got to go through this hurt of the world right. of dating. Worth so there's got to be a normal level. I don't know what's not normal. At what point are we at not normal hurt? Yes. And at what point is it like, okay, cool. This is, you mm. just, it's like people, it's like almost like when people go, um, n- people complain and go, ah, the way men are, no, 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 no. Or guys go, go oh, the way women are. And I'm like, yeah, but you in the dating world, this is what happens. And right. also you're looking for one person. Right. You're looking for one, and we and we want to go screw the whole group. Right. It's like, well, but the whole group was not part of, was never the point of this part of your life. I was just looking for that one person, and then me we vie and live our lives. Yes. So it's like the same with the hurt thing. It's just like you gotta go through, through those it. pains. Yes. I love people who 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 love get hurt and love again. Bruh. Like J, like I was saying, J Lo for me is like my <laughs> <laughs> J Lo is my hero in love because that person sings about it. She acts in the movies about it. Like she's very like me. I'm gonna go for love, and love just keeps punching her in the heart because she's cheap. Because huh? love don't cost a thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
like, how could you but, say that? But this nah, the, I also, I like mind. you know, you know why I don't go with the J Lo thing? Yeah, because J Lo lives in a world of she walks outside and every man is trying to show her the best side of him. And right. she's also dating men where, where the bank accounts are crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, not all the time. She she was with the dancer guy. Dude, she, every the, everyone dancer. Everyone is in a world. My, my when I admire like love and stuff. When I mm. see somebody who's been in a relationship for years, so and so passes away, or they or they get divorced, and then they go again. That for me is more of a. JLo's relationships just seem very quick. Are they just relationships? Yes, that's, they, that's my thing. They're just relationships. Right. They, they but exactly you admire what, that. They're exactly what you're saying. Yeah, she, it, what you were saying. She stays in the it's game. It's like she's like. She I, stays focused. She's in the game. I've announced it. I've posted. There's my kids. I've done. Yeah. The, I've gone 100% all the time. And she gets stabbed in the heart. I and feel then so. when she does it again, I'm like, man, there's something about that that I like. I feel sorry but you for, don't know. Uh, sorry, you don't know what, whatever is in her at the back of her head. If there's a hole she's trying to fill, right? You know what I mean. Also, have you ever we considered J Lo is a very powerful woman? Have you ever considered the men that she leaves that are that are broken? Where's that dancer <laughs> guy? I'd like to imagine. Speak to bro, him. How do you replace? Do you know how do you replace J Lo now? Oh, dude, it's ridiculous. Jay Z and Beyonce had to get back together because <laughs> where was they Beyonce have no going? Options. At least Beyonce has an affair with Stedman. Beyonce <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Beyonce had to. Bill Gates was still in a relationship at the There's time. No <laughs> way. Yes. Where, where does Beyonce go? Where does Jay Z go? Does Jay-Z Who go? does Jay Z start dating? Those Who kind of powerhouses. Yeah. They go. We have to make right. this thing work. Anyone who knows your name is undateable, dude. What if you you're, if you Jay Z, you can't go into a relationship with anyone who knows that you're Jay Z. Yeah, man. Okay. Unless they're at your level of power. This person's giggling at everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at everything. Baby, I love your voice. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. What? Oh, you know, yeah. when, if I started j- dating Beyonce, you know how my wallet would get dusty. <laughs> what? I wouldn't touch my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave but the house. Would, I will forget I had a wallet. You'll be that. You'll never be that guy. You oh, better, watch you me, better fix your dick, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> my, my if, you're not, if you're not using the money, he's Beyonce, broken. can we stop at the engine? Broken, broken. Can we stop at the engine, please, Beyonce? I need to get some pills. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if the chauffeur stops at the engine? <laughs> if the chauffeur stops, let's come in with you, babe. No, Beyonce, stay. <laughs> You know, you're always calling her Beyonce. <laughs> yes, I'm calling her Beyonce. You can call me baby. You know? <laughs> no, my, okay, Beyonce. You. <laughs> yeah, you should change my girl, B. <laughs> no, Jay used to call me that. Don't do that. Those oh, kind of I'm things sure. are, I'm telling you, that it's a different fucking ball game. Thing, yeah, bro. it's different. Right. It's, and I understand what you're saying, but that world of in and outs of relationships. It's, and it's, it's not the same as us. Also, some of these celebrity couples, I genuinely think they date for career purpose. Yeah. Who would you date in South Africa now? For my career. For your career. Jesus. Like a name, obviously, like now where you act and you're going, if I dated so-and-so, it would be a cool thing for like us, for like the public. Because it's also that thing. Yes. Of the theater of it. Yeah. So which, which in, in, that, in that production of Partnership, which one? This do is a you good game. I want to hear. I want to hear put all next answers. to you, and it's like <laughs> that's wow. a tough one. Uh, uh, come on, <laughs> Robbie's dating. Because you know, well, also you you both know you're doing it for the thing. Yes, yes. yes I'm so with you. don't don't yeah. overthink. Like ah, oh, but the conversation is like fuck conversation. You I wish I money. could call like a like if if people had agents in South Africa. Mm. I th- and 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 I think I would be like, okay, call so and so's agent and find out if they open to being in a relationship for. PR, like I would do it. Oh, okay. oh, oh, I got my person. Yeah, and I've spoken to you how much I think this person's gorgeous, Ayanda Tebete. Nah. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's good. No, but that is. And, and also, I think if we in on the thing for our career, I'd also she's also such a lovely person. I yes. think I would enjoy you the toler- thing. Yeah, it would be a uh, that it woman be is painful. flawless. She's a nice person. She's funny. She's beautiful. Yeah, she. Pro- I'm sure she can't read or something. <laughs> There has to be something wrong with her. She's too perfect. <laughs> but I, I think this is... Uh, so, Ayanda, please send us a video of you reading anything. That's uh, Ayanda 
Mayweather <laughs> Tabete. Thank you. Even when she comments on things on Instagram, ha ha ha. But I think you know when a person likes a post and you go, I think she likes me. I should go in the DMs and go, no, she just saw the post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it there. Dude, Leave I have that. I have that it. when I. That's like I have these guy moments, like these very strong. You being a guy, yeah. That I have to fix immediately, but they always come up. And one of them is if a, if a lady follows me on Instagram, it means my first something. thought is. She, she wants. Yes. yes. <laughs> and then I have to go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and she go, no, she no, wants she to just, follow. Yes, yeah, she wants to. Yes. <laughs> she I'm, wants to follow. I've follow <laughs> you know, right. you follow their private accounts of a person who keeps liking your thing. Yes. And then you see these boyfriends and they're just friendly. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> like, what the fuck is this, man? Why did you follow me? Yes, I'm also going to tell your boyfriend you're liking all my pictures. <laughs> of course, I'm roofs in you. <laughs> Stop liking my shit. <laughs> that is hilarious. And who would you? Who would you be? Who would you? I would. I'm in a loving relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Your question is: Who could break it? Who could break who it? Could, who could threaten it? Who and could put it under threat? And break up. No, let's let's stay with the initial question. If, okay, if yeah. you're single, who would help? Push your career forward. You only put that in there for me because you're both motherfuckers. Yes, 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 yes. Forward. I don't know if anyone I date can push my career forward. No, but we know no, the question. Bro. We know the question. Push, push your public eye yes, narrative that, forward. That thing. Not who's helping your jokes. <laughs> hey, Ted, I don't know who could write like I write. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. I would date... I would want to date Moonchild. Oh wow! This relationship is sound this like there's no furniture. T- <laughs> <laughs> it sounds this like this is a, a mid-range relationship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a no food in the cupboard <laughs> relationship. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> it sounds. Moon- I don't know why, but I feel like you guys would be a passionate. Six month turbulent relationship. Yes, but what a, a ride! But a lot of, of ride. But a lot of and things. And when you guys break up, we're all relieved. We're like, yo, yeah. oh, no <laughs> man. It, yes, wow, and then we does see it you, sound chaotic. It just sounds yeah. like a chaotic relationship. Yeah, it sounds. You messy. both, you both, Are you we, both in not here. Yes, you both people who live on your own planets. But I think that's what I was attracted to because I was like, if we were now conscious about it and put our powers together mm. and now we put the production of it on, yes. we would give we would give people A like show. this other thing. Yeah. Whereas when I thought of you and Ayanda, I was like, but you bring nothing to that. Because <laughs> I was trying to think of the couple, like even the picture of you and her, it's just you grateful. But the- <laughs> oh, wow. like, there's no- this looks great. He, yes, wow. he'll make her laugh and stuff maybe at the table, but Yo, I'm just you know like, when you find a, out what people think about no, you. Yes. When he's yeah. next to Ayanda, that's what I think Fuck about you. him next to Ayanda. But I can pick you and Moonchild, and you're still bald, but you got blue jeans <laughs> coming out the side. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. I can imagine. I can. <laughs> I can imagine I can imagine sending you and Ayanda text and you guys over the phone in me immediate immediately immediately is he saying we must come out and ima- emergency no I need you outside now immediately fuck you, fuck you too put, 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 put it in Google Google will say it out loud <laughs> you're in Moonchild matching with fishnet stockings and shit the fuck I just Tess will be wearing Moonchild's clothes that is your <laughs> No, but what on I meant, the podcast. What I meant was when you even when you said her name, I was like, I know that it's a it's a crush, but it but for the production, it was almost like you were satisfying your crush as opposed to a thing that thinking that business. A, yes. You were thinking of hearts and, and you really dig her, but not for the production. Yes, but you this is your thing. You're gonna be the guy known who dated Moonchild. Because my relationship will have stability and peace. I'll move away from Ayanda when we break up calmly. You and Moonchild are going to lose endorsements after that <laughs> After? The whole thing is a trail of lost endorsements. I can see all the problems. You, you guys will be boring now. Boring, yes, boring. But I think, but I'm comparing it, I think because I'm in the production, it would be like... No, I think it would be like Gr- Ariana Grande and um, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Yes. Well, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. So you watch it because it doesn't make sense. Yes. Right. And and every man goes, hey, if Rob can do it, 
Stay in school, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but Robbie didn't stay in school, so they won't say. <laughs> Your one, you and you and Moonchild. I get, after their breakup, it's gonna be both of you on fucking Insta live videos. Speaking about speaking you. about the yeah. shit, yeah. I can see that yeah. kind of. It's passionate. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. but it's good. I think the two come two very different. Uh, yes, brands. Two what very different brands. brands oh, you and Moonchild <laughs> are more drum magazine. No, me and Ayanda, me and Ayanda are. I was, I was thinking Soweto TV. <laughs> yes. I was like, I see Soweto TV being all about this relationship. Yes. <laughs> guys, I can see, I can you see. You guys drum- know Moonchild. I know Moonchild. No, I, Moonchild is in the world, my I friend. I know yes. Moonchild. Do you yes. know Moonchild? But your antics, that, where I see the antics. Yes. Ha- the story. Kind of, together now we yes. become. Drum Bo- magazine. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in GQ. No, it's, it's not GQ. Me and Ayanda will make a GQ. Your cover. photo shoots, uh. your photo shoots would be bomb. That's what I'm thinking. We are this other thing that can be that that can okay. be GQ. Whatever you guys do, it needs a man management. Yes, yes, yes no. It does. You guys will can't be left. And Absolutely. We don't, as we don't know Moonchild that like that, we're really just not trusting Tats in this. Is it this me is that true? Because maybe maybe Moonchild, because Moonchild has made like created a whole career for herself that's very different. And it takes a lot to do that. So maybe she's just, she's the person who keeps this whole outfit together. I, w- I went Because Tats does not know how to keep an outfit together. <laughs> I, I, went to co- I went to college with Moonchild and then I, when I saw out. You went to what? Went to, well, after I dropped out of school, I went to this finishing college. Oh. Ah, right. Yes. And then uh, that's where you get your matric and I dropped out of that as well. That's <laughs> another story. <laughs> that's why when Kanye came, up with, came out with high school, Drop, drop out. out. I was like, yeah, not high school, college drop out. I was like, yes. <laughs> but anyway, I was right. I saw I saw Moonchild out, and we cool. We always chat and stuff. And then I said her real name when I greeted her, and then she just pulled me close. Like, don't say that in public. <laughs> 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 it was so cute. She was just like, nigga, you see, I'm working, and uh, don't do that in public. Don't, don't, don't break the facade. What, oh, who, 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 would, who, who would yours be? I have no idea. I'm trying to think South about African. it. Seriously. South African. Like, oh, wow. Well, oh, yes. Yeah, but you got to think about height and all that shit. Mm. Uh, I thought you looked like no, but honestly, who's, 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 who's in a relationship. Who, who, who are these uh, uh, flipping herds of tall women that you guys know? <laughs> herds. Herds. You say like South Africa is just like. <laughs> This fucking savannah of giraffes. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's a, I'm just picturing a woman walking in high heels, but like <laughs> grazing. <laughs> grazing. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Who could my dinger date? I can't. F- I don't know why Elsa, that the the inst- Instagram girl, keeps popping in my head. Elsa, Elsa, the Instagram. But girl. when I think about my boy, yeah, baby boy will. Is is also such a private person. You gotta. Mm. It's gotta be somebody who, when no, they I see them together, they get excited, but then they disappear. That's my dingus relationship. It's not uh, your you and Mucha are everywhere. They can pay everything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> constantly, <laughs> constantly. It's like so and so's live. It's like oh them again. No oh, yes. man, that's not how that's, we are. That's you. No, that's you too. But that's how you guys would play your relationship. Remember, yes. we're in the world of curation. Remember, yes. it's it's my world of curation, and that's not how it would play out. My dingus relationship needs to be one way. You know when Beyonce and Jay rock up at an event and they go, mm. "Oh, I like here. this already." Yes, Th- that's that's what I what I feel for his relationship. So Boity. I actually thought first thought Boity, but I didn't know what we would do. Right, just yeah, that's a tough one. Also, Boity looks like she'll be a handful, dropping off at all the additions. Now she's a rapper. Now she's. <laughs> Baby, you go to the studio. <laughs> where you going? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I need to tell the Uber. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Oh man, I can't think of someone. I'm just thinking of um, how sad I am that that agent world like isn't a thing. Or maybe we don't know that it's a thing. Right, we're not big enough, ne? That, not that world isn't. I was invited to some red carpet event last week. <coughs> And I literally just said, oh. no. Yeah, they, no, because my thing, my goal is not to be on red carpets if I'm not in the thing. Okay. I I, see. Growing up, I always watched, and I think even more so now, there's a lot of people who are famous, and I go, but what do you do? Mm-hmm. Even though they do do something. 
but I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm just going. You did that to me. <laughs> I don't want to be on red cop. I don't want to be there if I don't need to be there. Does that make sense? But there's so many places that you go that you don't need to be. But there. that's the, that's no, I'm, talk, wouldn't I'm talking about a... television stuff. So if you're on the red carpet where they're going, come to do this premiere or this thing where pictures are going to be taken, whatever. Then I'm going. But what's the point of my right. presence? Mm. I always feel like I'm I'm messing up the thing because when I go to those things, I always walk behind the photographers. Me too. And I was like, no. And I always feel, I always feel like I'm the worst person there. Yes. Because I'm just I'm there. <laughs> yes. My outfit's from the cupboard. It's not from a <laughs> yes. designer. I also feel bad because I'm like, you're gonna see me in these clothes next week. Yes. You know yes. that. Like, yes. This is not fun for anybody reading this. Now you're I, making things up. This is hams. Mark someone's hams. someone's gonna say. Isn't that what he was wearing at spa that day? Yes. It's like, yes. Some that girl Alfred, gave me a That outfit comes with a Sasko I look at sign. my Instagram thing sometimes and I'm like, oh, no, I, everyone knows all my outfits. <laughs> <laughs> if you swipe five times yes. on my thing, that's... Everyone. That's why also, like, I don't... Like, we go Boiti, but I'm like, I don't fit in Boiti's world. Dude, your outfits are going to run like, out. I feel like Boiti's... I'd be the statement to Boiti. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, I just, you would. I would be the total statement to Boiti. Some chick said to me, because on Tuesday, last week Tuesday, I wore a t-shirt to this gig and then I watched it and wore it again on Friday. But I posted both pictures. Mm. Then the chick said... My th- question th- is, th- did th- you wash it? Uh, yeah, of course. Was that just no, I watched story? it. And then I washed it. Yeah, he's a smoker, bro. I, washed, I, I washed my clothes. <laughs> and then, and then um, she said, you wore this the other day. <laughs> then I just commented back, what do you do with your washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tuesday and Friday are long enough <laughs> to wash and dry things. I don't know what you do with your washing machine. <laughs> but like, relax. Uh, uh, yes. That world, that, that world. And that's so weird. It's like, we, we know comics don't get famous from comedy. You do something else that draws attention to your comedy. Right. Right. And we all know the game you need to play. Christ Almighty, oh, we don't want to play that game. Oh no, no, no. to get known, you mean? The, the, yeah, we know the fame game. Yeah. I think some of us, there, there some rules. of us if, love it. If we wanted to be famous, yes, we could. Be. We could just by copy pasting. I'm not even talking about like we could do, but I'm talking about anybody could do it if they just committed right. to the game of fame, the, to committed to social media, committed to the events, committed yes. to you know what I mean. With you, you c- and, but I know the three of us. We go. No, I don't want to do that. You know what it feels like for me? It feels like I'm reaching. And it and when it, you? When I'm like the experience of do you wanna come do this red carpet thing? Uh. It feels like it's not me. Right. And I'm way more comfortable in any situation yeah. you put me in life. If I can be me. If I'm me. Yeah. But, you, but, but when I'm when I'm in a thing and I'm and I'm putting on this thing because and trying to fit into this world. Because that's the thing. You are trying to fit into this world. But that's what I was going to push back and say. It's not that it's not you. It's that everybody who's there, you don't vibe with. So you add a thing. Because the event isn't the thing. It's like when we went to the Queen Sono premiere. I think all of us were. Co- I wasn't part of it. I don't know if you were there. I was there, but I vibe with everyone. It's that, but that's mm. the thing. When you got that, you were like, yo, I'm going to... It, you, I was going excited. To my people. I was yeah. excited about the event, about the that it's an event, mm-hmm. just like they have events. The only reason we don't go to those ones is because ah, uh, the reaching is because of everyone who's going to be there. I don't vibe with. Yes. As opposed to this one, where it was like, it's your people. I'm going to vibe with everyone there. Yeah. Right. And it's that. So it's not necessarily that we don't like red carpets. It's just we're not in the world of celebrity. No. So when we bump into the people there... It's a performance. It's the conversation. That we're not willing to... Yes. Yeah. It's a dance we're not willing to jive to. But I think I think there's... This chick, I don't know. <coughs> Yo, Robbie. Jeez. Yo. <coughs> Excuse me. That's disgusting. No, don't. Yo. It's okay, bro. What does that got to do with the price of rice? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you memorize all of these things. <laughs> Listen to him. Listen to him. So the chick, the tennis player, Naomi... And how she yes. stepped away from the French Open, and she's like, because Fire. because of press, the press interviews they have to do after the game, and can it's fuck too, with your mental, yes, and it's too much anxiety from it and all this shit, and you go, the choice she's making because this is rank number one. She's mm. Charles like Serena and shit. Mm. 
Nobody's mm-hmm. brave enough to let go of that thing to do what they love. So she's literally going, I almost feel like it's a Chappelle moment, another Chappelle moment, where she's going, this isn't what I've chosen, and I don't know how to deal with this thing. Right. Mm. I'm going to walk away from it. Mm. She's, she's like, yo, carry on with the tournament. I'm fine. I just need to sort out my shit. Mm. Right. I don't know how many people are, gonna, are strong enough to go, yes, because most people will tell us, do press, that's good for your t- mm. uh, interview. A good Do press, that's good for your career. Mm. Do press, that's good for whatever it is. For her to step away and go, I'm going to lose out on millions because she probably would have won this tournament. Mm. And I'm going to step away. And hopefully, you guys change and meet me somewhere. Right. Because remember, Chappelle walking away from 50 million took him 12 years to return to money and Mm. all those things. So we admire these people. Mm. But then you go, how many of us are going to actually sacrifice that I think it's, I think, Mm. because I'm thinking of almost like Monique's story. Where she, where she, uh, when they were doing Precious, like that's when she fell out with like Hollywood and got kind of got blacklisted because Precious was this independent film. Mm. Lee Daniels is like, hey man, I'm making this thing. Can you do it for me? She's like, okay, cool. They sign, they sign. Can you do press? She did the press. But then the movie became so big after the festival that when it got bought, like by Lionsgate and these and the and the film distribution companies. She didn't have a deal with them. So she didn't do the press. And she was like, I'm not going to do the press. So it, it reads as, oh, when well, you don't want to do the press. But mm. her thing is, my deal was with Lee Daniels. Mm. And there was no new deal once the right. thing was bought. Mm. She's like, you bought them. You didn't buy me. Yeah, yes. she bought the so phone. Mm. She was open to the conversation of the, but it never happened. So mm. everyone just said, oh, she's a problem to work with. And then blue balled her. As opposed to Naomi's one, it's like, with sport, it, there's so much more power there. I'm the number one tennis player. Mm. I'm not going to the press conferences, but what you can't do is blackball me because I'm going to beat everyone when I go to the next tournament. Yes. As opposed to... Whoever your number one is is really number two and everybody knows right. it. Right. Yeah. Whereas Monique can't... She doesn't have that power. Chappelle didn't mm. have that power to be like, but when I come back, I'm going to still be on top. Mm. Yeah, because for them, they just carry on. Right. Oh, who's the oh next yeah. Black we we lady? <laughs> come here. Artists are, dude. Art, there's nobody who is, like I. <laughs> next fat black, please. <laughs> next fat Step black, forward, please. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring, bring. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> 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 every every fat black uh, chicks uh, what's its audition is like can you steal this KFC bucket and run upstairs <laughs> <laughs> that's from Precious he steals a bucket of KFC oh really <laughs> yes so that's the that, t- that scene was just like yo man that's this was unnecessary <laughs> who we steals it Precious Precious steals it from the fridge and runs upstairs locks herself in the door <laughs> I was like this imagine seeing that movie in 3D Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, so that's hilarious. But uh, but the French Open's oh. also fucked over Serena. After Serena gave birth, she wore this. They called it oh, a cat suit. Yes, black cat suit. Mm. And what it does, it helps women that have just given birth. It helps prevent them from getting blood clots. Oh wow! And they're like, "Yo, this outfit is like, yo, bro, this is fucking for my health, for my health, bro." Yeah. And they're like, "Okay." No, bro. Crazy, because also the fines you get for not doing press there. It's like those millions. It's crazy, bro. Jeez. So shout out to Naomi. So they shoot him into that and he falls so fire, bro. She, the attention to details are amazing. Then my what? thing is, when, oh, man, that's not fair. Because the parents dropped him off, they did the thing and then got fired. Yeah, but you know, you know schools, bro. But imagine doing the nativity play... But you let you show Mary's birth. Because they never ever show us those things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're right. Have the screaming. You're right. Baby, are you okay? Right. You did this to me. <laughs> you never <laughs> think of Mary screaming. Like, it's always so tranquil. Yes. Even when you look at the animals, they just... Mary's upset when she, sees a noise. A, when she sees the Bible transcript. So you guys just skipped to he was born. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Patriarchy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I want to watch... I want to show you this video of this <laughs> n- of um, what is it? Scarface s- school play. Yeah, Scarface school play. Too much, bro. I'm just upset at the whole community now, because they let it happen, and then obviously someone at the afterwards said something. 
I need to watch this again with you. Where is it? Can't you stop saying fudge all the time? It's boring, Tony. Boring? What's boring? You're boring. You do coke and you kill people. That's wonderful, Tony. <laughs> I got a fudging joint for a while. Fudging joke. Fudging for a while. Look at the security cameras. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, this is the last scene. Yeah. Okay, so, sir, you want to fudge with me? You'll fudge you the best. Wanna play with? Say hello to my little friend. Who dies this long? This is like that Indian video. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like John. Yeah. Too much fire, bro. Too much oh. fire. Fudging, you fudging my wife's a fudging joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fudging joke, Tony. My, my gosh. I know, I, I feel like that would make school plays so much more enjoyable. When See, you make it really is. I, when we were in choir, we sang Gangster's Paradise. I mean, it wasn't that, but it, I remember the, the looks on the people's faces like at Eisteddfod in terms of what what is this now? Because it was the rap, it was the keep spinning most of my but the, that those because the kids choral before parts. you were singing, you know, Stop it exactly. exactly. But then Gangsters Paradise has that, ooh, that yeah, it's musical, yeah, yeah, it is musical. It's Stevie, shame, but it's Stevie, the sample Stevie. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, and Stevie oh, got yeah, older. Sorry. But you, we went to go watch um, the KZN Philharmonic Orchestra. This is when. Benny in the 18 area came out, Shibobo. Yes. And the whole thing's just like, ah, boring, boring. And then their last song. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my man. Because it's, it's the playhouse. <laughs> it's like a thousand. It's the opera room. <laughs> yes. And it's all these different schools from I around can't. Durban. Yes. Oh, my man. <laughs> oh, they rapped. The kids rapped oh, the whole song over, over the orchestra. The, oh, but the orchestra <laughs> were loving it. Feeling it. And oh. I feel like they were like, we, oh, man, we need to research yes. what's popular right yes. now. <laughs> but I remember that whole thing just erupting. It was so beautiful to see. I wonder Because it made, that's... sorry, it made those instruments all become cool. Yeah. With that song. <laughs> Even the oboe was like. <laughs> yes. That whole album was very orchestral. Yeah. If you listen to it, you can hear that. Who who produced it was Zwei. Zwei. Zwei's background is also very. Yeah, classical. it's very classical. Drakensberg. It was very dope. Mm. I remember uh, every time Drakensberg I Drakensberg Boys Choir. Just, I feel like one day someone will release a tell-all book about that. It just seems. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's got everything. The it's mountains. got all the, the the mountain. Your child is away. away. Yeah. The little boys. I'm just like, it just doesn't feel right. I want to know what happened to Lois or sideburns. What? Never had side. Lois Obala never had sideburns. And now he has sideburns. No, he didn't. Have what sideburns. are you saying? Lois what does that got to do with the price of rice? Lois <laughs> <laughs> Obala's sideburns was never like his hair. The way his hair grows, it grows and it stops above his ears. <laughs> if you look at it, and I only know. I have to go look. That's <laughs> those weird things. Like Tom Cruise's tooth is in the middle of his face. Where is it? Yeah, wow. his two teeth are supposed to be on the side. Mm -hmm. his, he, one of his teeth is in the middle. It's like under what the, are you guys under his septum. I think it's, it's, yeah, I it's, think it's, it's, it's weird. But yes. I'm like, who was looking that intensely? I, I think it's generally it. just something I picked up. Sideburns of Lois of Bala and teeth of Tom Hanks. Um, <laughs> Tom That's Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, yeah. yeah. Tom Cruise. Oh. There's so many things. There's a song we used to sing in church. Which used to freak me out. Because <laughs> I was with Drink my blood, says <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Eat my flesh, my son. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't that one. <laughs> that that one smoothed right over with the children. <laughs> <laughs> that one we just kind of went to the, But the song was Were you there when they crucified Fine, my, my Lord? Lord. Yeah, Were you creepy. there when they crucified, crucified my, my Lord? Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Sometimes, Sometimes it causes, causes me to tremble. tremble. That song was so disturbing. Gee, I've never heard of that. Of course, I was there, there too, they, motherfucker. They, that, and then you repeat that for every step of the process of crucifixion. Yes. 
Oh, it's the Catholic when thing. They, they, yeah, when they, when they, what's it, stabbed him in the side. Yeah. Oh, wow. When you did, yo, dude. Oh, bro. And it was just uh, literally Ominous. breaking down the murder. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just, that was the original Passion of the Christ. <laughs> oh, yes. no. It was such a hectic song. Yeah. Catholic, Catholic, Catholic school is actually scary. But it, why is it less scary? Is it, it is less scary because it ends well, so everyone understands the. It's not like it's it, you left wondering, and then what happened after they put thorns in his head. You know, does this get, I think it's the ultimate. But I was, and then I woke up. Story. What do you mean? You tell it. You write your crazy composition for Monday. What happened this weekend? Mm-hmm. You out of ideas. And you write this crazy story in your <laughs> composition, and then you ended with, and then I woke up. That's what th- three days later. Ah, he's alive, guys! You went to heaven. It's okay. Uh, what are you <laughs> so even we, saying? So we all. So it it seems less. You listen to the Je- story of Jesus and this insane murder, mm. but then it ends with. He's fu- ah, yes. he came back, guys. Right, and he right, rose, right, and he right, right, went right. up into heaven. If it was just that's the end of Jesus' life, it would be like told a little bit more like heavily. I hear you. But I, I find, the, I found, as a kid, I found the crucifixion part and was always put in your head that he died for your sins. Uh-huh. That was the scary part. So that song hit more because, like, this guy went through so much. For you. And I'm still stealing sweets. I'm still <laughs> sinning. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm singing this song about what he went through for me. For you. That, that was the thing of, like, he did. Because they go... Jesus could Jesus could have he, the man was performing miracles. He could have avoided his crucifixion when you think about it. Yes. So he goes, so he went and said, These humans can kill me to save you guys. And that was always put in my head. And I, I guess like, I just think I didn't understand it, so it never hit me in the way. I was like, What do you mean he died for my sin? What's a sin? Yeah. No, but it's like so what does that mean? I don't have sin now? Like I don't understand. Right. Like right, it was right. just like I don't how long were you at Catholic schools? I feel like they should have covered this in some. They, I'm sure they did. Just never hit home. <laughs> just didn't give a fuck. Yes. I'm sure. Yes. No, because it's like I was there till grade five, and then the next school I went to was also like, it was. Um, it used to be a convent, and then it became co-ed, and then the principal that we got the next year that I was there was a priest. So was, I was always in the in the Christian world of teachings. And I, was I like, wonder what that's like, because <coughs> going to a Catholic school, I feel like people who come out of the education, like the schools that have a very strong religious... Uh, Everybody comes out as sluts. Everyone comes <laughs> out, either, either, either like, I've met a lot of adults my age who go, it's then that I decided this thing is not... Mm. Because I think you 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 see. Let me ask you, rather, what made you go? Because as kids, you know, you get taught the H two O. You put H two, and you believe it. What made you go? This is not it, or was that in as an adult? I never totally. Say, I always doubted the interpretations. Right. So I'm I remember the first time. The first thing I ever questioned was the Noah and the Ark. Mm. Because then I was like, but then where do we all come from? Right. That was my question, which is like a general question. But I was like, as a kid, I was just like, but this, this story, like, mathematically does not matter. Right, right. <laughs> this yeah. story mathematically cannot happen. Yes. You but know if what you I mean? Bring and they don't even explain it. And then it was like slowly, like, slowly certain things didn't make sense. But then it was more, it was less about this whole thing is bullshit. Mm-hmm. And rather like, I don't think we understand this thing or it's not being taught to us right. Got you. Yeah. And that was at school. That was at school, yeah. Yeah, but if, if you bring science into lots of religions, science and maths, then there's going to be a lot more questions yes. about the thing. And biology. Um, all, no, all the things. All the things. Accounting. All the things. <laughs> Sex and accounting. But that's, <laughs> but that's when, it, when you go, that's when you, you question the faith of the thing. People mm. talk faith. Then you go, my faith is in believing this thing without this I don't know. You can call it the outside elements of the world that will that will interpret. start interpret and start changing these mm. original right. beliefs of mine. Because Noah's Ark, yeah, man, it's a lot of things. I remember looking at adults telling us the story about uh, what 
what's his name went into the shark and went into the whale, Jonah. the whale, Jonah. Jonah and the whale. I remember looking at the adults like, you're not <laughs> telling us like it's facts, right? You're just telling us a story, like <laughs> the yeah. other story. <laughs> like I just look at them like you way too into the story. <laughs> yes. And then you grow up and you're like, yeah, I, I think I think Jonah just had a whack wife. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah like three days later she comes back and he, and he's like, where have you been the whole weekend? Uh, I was in a whale. And she's like, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> no. Here, I am think- here I am thinking I'm that going to the opera to cheat. That guy went to Vegas. He went to <laughs> <laughs> Jonah was in Vegas. He was in Sodom. <laughs> that was a crazy life for cheating. I'm thinking of three tennis. This nigga's in Wales and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a whale. <laughs> I was in a whale. I mean, I'm thinking of three tennis and this nigga's in a whale. But even like Noah's Ark, where, where were you keeping... The, the the lion to the buck. Like how how good was your caging facilities yes. of these animals? And if you only took two by two, what are the lions eating? Because there's only yes. two of each snack. Yes. <laughs> what are there we doing? So many questions. So, but it's never explained. It's never like. And then the miracle of God repopulated the earth. It's right. just. And then they went back to earth. And then it's like almost like the Cain and Abel story, where all of a sudden they go. And then Cain got married. To who? Right, right. <laughs> you need to fill in some blanks here. <laughs> there were no sisters even. Yes. It would be his mother. The only other woman at that time referenced was his mother. Yes, then he made he inseminated his mom. But then that's what we realized without having no, to say. No, no, I, I don't even. I'm not even getting involved. <laughs> so all this. all those questions, and I remember asking some questions as a kid, and I don't think it's wrong. So I'm gonna put. I, I don't think. I don't think you discard the whole Bible. Mm. There's way too much to learn through it. Right. I just think, I, that's, like I said, I think your people's interpretations are just like unworkable. Right. I can't work with your interpretation of this thing. It's the same way I go. The only reason I'm not in church is no one's convinced me yet. Right. Yeah, but there's also I'm not. I haven't, I haven't gone like I, I know for a fact to. it's not true. I go the guys who was the guys who've been sent to tell me. He, he sent the wrong guys. <laughs> but also, if you start looking at my question with the Bible is the way it was used for people of color, especially like slaves and stuff. Mm. So when you go, the Bible and Sunday, Sunday service for slaves were used to control them. Yes, so, occupy them on their one day off. So it's going, okay, cool. You guys aren't going to fight for freedom and all those things because you believe that it will be salvation for you and these, there's this greater power mm. that's out there looking for you so put all your faith in this. Don't question me. Believe in God, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying this. <laughs> yes, God. You sound like a like a slave who's 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 lost his patience teaching these, <laughs> like a slave owner who's lost his patience teaching the slaves. <laughs> but there and was then Jesus. What about the wealth? Hey, hey, hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Trust in God, motherfucker. You're questioning God now. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's you dare question God? Hell. <laughs> That's you wouldn't question me. <laughs> Why would you question God? That's the way it was like used <laughs> to keep them in check. That's how it was used to keep them in check. So you go, right. some of those teachings, I don't know. I think every religion is beautiful practice, right? That every religion is beautiful. And then you just have to see past the people to, I don't know. Yeah, man. To feel something. Can't you look past the people? The, yeah, the, like you say, the, the people who've been sent to. Yeah. Yes. H- horrible. Horrible. <laughs> because <laughs> horrible. If, if you were being taught it's Christianity like, yes, from a KKK it's like, member. It's like some, there's probably some kind of music that you wouldn't listen to because the people who are telling you about that artist are just whack. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. you see the followers and you're like, I don't know who they're talking about, but I don't want to listen to <laughs> whoever you. this person's music is. I got you. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that's right. Oh, Jesus. You know, when, when God is up there going, this is not... <laughs> <laughs> that's so right. I can't get it so say. wrong. Yes. Yeah, I put him in a whale. Why isn't that... Lost? <laughs> I was flexing on you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but I also I also think there's different books in the Bible that would make a slave leave. Because Harriet Tumblr, she she read the part of... of Tumblin. Tum- Harriet Tumblr? Tumblin. Tubman. Tubman. Yeah, Tumblin. 
Okay. Yes, what was I saying? Tamman. Tamman. Yes. There was. Tamman. There was. Yes. You sound like you're saying Tamman. Oh, yes. Harriet Tamman. So I guess. it still sounds like she, she literally Harriet Tammy, yes. read the part of <laughs> Moses in the Bible. Yeah. So her oh. freeing slaves. Yes. She just read uh, a different part of the Bible. That's that. She, she just found a piece of paper. They tore out. Oh, we gotta take this one out. <laughs> yes. So it's just like. <laughs> Where you put that page? <laughs> <laughs> There's answers for all that shit. Yeah. She has a fire she has a fire quote, bruh, where she goes, uh, she freed thousands of slaves and then she said I would have freed a thousand more if they knew they were slaves. I was like, shit. Damn it. Yo, bruh. I was like, okay. Shit. I still gotta watch that That's show it. with um Betu. Oh, the uh, underground. Uh, uh, underground. Yeah, yeah. Or, I I think it's intense really well. though. I don't know if I I can't lately. I just can't watch. What do they call? What's the term for it now? Black slave pain. movies. Yeah. What do they call it? Black pain. Is that what it's called? Because it's too much real black pain. Yeah, that and just like how much more? Right. What? Like why? It's like that that story that Netflix one that blew up about the about the the kids who went to prison in New York. Yeah. yeah I yeah. couldn't watch that because I know it's a horrible story. I know the story. Mm. So I'm like, I'm not gonna watch the show of the horrible thing. And it's and it's also it's, it's like why read it, it was you talking about when they see us? Yes. Why yes. watch that when it's happening right now? I can just put on Instagram and get so many examples yes. of the shit. I feel like what you what we need to watch is is things about other pain. So like for example, I'm thinking now it's it's Pride Month and the the stories in terms of the LGBTQTI community, where even if they are black, it's almost like that is... A difference. <laughs> you know, and you go, oh, that's a pain I can take now. <laughs> 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 like in terms of your brain isn't... Because the black story, mm. is, you, you, it's full now. So you, 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 you want to watch and other that, people's pain like white people watch your pain? I don't even know if they watch our pain, though. You... No, 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 let's not speak for a whole okay. group of people also. Right, but... But, we, but we you know, know what I mean? Yeah, it's like but... There's nothing attracting... I don't know, but there's something about experiencing a different kind of pain that you're not numb to, to kind of in, give you senses again about pain. Okay, got Do you. Do you know what I mean? That you're not numb to. That you're not numb to. Yes, And okay. that is a community that is still oppressed mm. in ways that we have no idea about yes. in many ways. Yes. So when you watch that movie... It's enlightening. And you go, oh, I'm in the workplace. And, yeah, oh, yeah. shit, in the club. Yes. It's oh, that's how I... Oh, shit, I've done that. You see yourself... Yeah. You know what I mean? Happy Pride Month. I don't know if it's a happy Pride Month, but apparently... Apparently it's not. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know. My, my the gays are revolting. <laughs> the gays. I always struggle with the happy things. Like, even with the ANC, like, I think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a all or nothing kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Cause 2021 now, after we've been freed and yes, progress and, and that, but I, in my back of my head, I'm always like, but then just change the slogan. I wouldn't mind the ANC as much if they just change the slogan to a better life for some, most of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, or like a, we'll try our best. Uh, because uh, at the moment it's a better life for all, but it's like, mm, that's not, not what true. you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ANC, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Even if you can say, I promise, so we'll do our best. Uh, yes. Then we can don't, say, <laughs> don't promise. Don't promise. Because a better life for that. all, dog. It's it's almost oh, like a I'll run it statement. by the other guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's ANC. I hear you, but I'll run it by, by the other guys. guys. ANC, what have you done for me lately? That's the thing about like where I go. Even when we when the, when when they celebrated like. A hundred years, and I'm like, it's not time for celebrate. Yes. We're not finished. Yes. Can we? Why don't? And and sometimes I go, I have to dial myself back. Or they, sorry, yeah, yeah. They, no, I have to dial myself back because I'm like, this is too literal. But I'm like, but it says, they should, all. <laughs> because they their first slogan was one person, one man, one vote. Mm. That was ninety four. Everyone must vote. Right. And I was like, we should just change it to one at a time. <laughs> 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 it's just like <laughs> so when I see happy when I see Pride Month and happy things and like come in, I'm like, but are they happy though? No. Is there a happy month? Like I think it would be but a happy month. But it's also it's also about let's just 
I don't know, maybe it's like, a, just give me, like, people just need to take some time, some, like, it's, it's like the whole thing of, like, what Mother's Day isn't just once a year, once yes. a year, no, 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 no. But it's like, yeah, but it's great that there's a day set aside for it. <coughs> so I think uh, you can say happy, get, happy in all your intentions. I think it would be happy in, if, like, homophobes and things for the, like, if we decided we're not killing trances in, in June. Like, if, and then we go, go ahead, now happy. But, no, but right. not, that's not how the world works. But with anything, no. But in terms of why I say this is in terms of the people who are violent against uh, the LGBT pe- LGBT community, plus community, f- for them, it, what hits? Do but they stop hating for a month? No, but no. this is this is my thing. The way you're talking about the, this month, right? Yes, the flag. And the even the celebrating of the holiday doesn't touch a lot of places in the world. Mm-hmm. So celebrating the month, that isn't going to touch certain areas in South Africa, in right. Johannesburg. Mm. So right. the, the gay people we come across in our everyday life, mostly are artistic or they in, in the right. world, in this Where we work. forward-thinking world. Mm. That other shit... That's happening on the outskirts. Oh, bruh. Forget it. Yeah, it's not for them. So, so, th- so Pride th- Month is not for the, the, the people who are the problem. No one's throwing a party with the flag in a township in El Dorado Park yes. this month. So, right. so when I hear these things... El Dorado I, just said challenge it's, accepted. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same like, as like when America has the Independence Day. It doesn't mean we have to also celebrate it. Right. It's a beautiful thing and it stands for a lot of great things and people fought and died and, you know, you tell the whole history, but it doesn't mean everybody's involved. It's, it's, it's for them. That's why Juneteenth... I think it's, it's Pride Month is for the, the community. Okay. And I think it's, it's, it's a great space for things to happen, for events to happen around it, to, to almost like to rile up some kind of a movement I don't know, man. But that's what happened. That's why Juneteenth is a thing. That's why black people started it, especially last year. Well, it's always been a thing, but last year they really pushed to make it a thing instead of celebrating 4th of July because the slaves were free in February, but uh, the in slaves were free. But the, the, so the slave masters and all this stuff went to war. Some of the slaves even fought, and then they came back, and then when they got back to the plantations, they're like, yeah, we're free. Like, no, no. Well, this, so this they kept going to pick itself. So, so lots of slaves were kept for another six months to plant cotton for the summer to grow. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, by the way, you're, you're niggas free? Oh, you're, you're free now. You're finished? Everyone's finished? One more time. <laughs> we'll Last free. seed. <laughs> Last and you're free. Oh. You're free. Oh. What did I say? <laughs> what did I, I said you'd be free. Hey, okay? okay. I'm not good to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good to you. <laughs> Happy it? Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, man. Happy Pride Month. I don't know what I mean. I've never said I don't say things I don't mean. I, but I, don't I hope I mean. you celebrate yourselves. That's all that's that's what I understand from it. Celebrate right. yourselves. But I also hope that people see the flag and, and hear that it's Pride Month. Celebrate other people. Apart from Oh, not just the community. The community Everybody. If the community I'm sure will celebrates themselves. Yes. It's not a it actually requires in this month it should be more awareness to us, uh heterosexual people, to just talk about it more mm. and make it more accepting. Right. Gotcha. The the people who go through this thing twelve months a year know what they go through. Cool. So we dedicate this last two minutes of this uh, show <laughs> to, <laughs> to the, the to LGBTQ the <laughs> community. I hope you celebrate yourselves because we're celebrating you. Thank you very much for joining us for another episode. We don't do nothing. I don't know if I have put on my view. <laughs> <laughs> This is the dope ass podcast.